Hello there, welcome to bcpink.com. My name is Arun Nair. Today I'm going to show you a very interesting application called MobaRobo. It's a PC suite application for Android or iOS device. So go to the site mobarobo.com and you can download MobaRobo by clicking this. I have already downloaded it and I have the setup file with me so I'm not going to download it again. So just double click on the setup file to install it and uh, ensure that uh, this option I agree with mobile over license agreement is checked. Now you don't have to worry about the license costing or anything because it's a free application uh, so you can just go click next 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 and boom it's installed. Click finish alright so it's just giving a tip you can just close that. Now it's it says uh, enable USB debugging. Now if you're going to connect your phone through USB cable, you need to enable something called USB debugging on Android. So I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so to enable USB debugging, what you need to do is uh, go into menu and uh, go to settings. If you scroll down to the bottom, you will see something called developer options. Now, you may not find developer options uh, with some phones like Nexus 4. So if you don't find that, just go into about phone. And if you scroll down to the very bottom of it, you'll see something called build number. Just click seven times on this. Uh, it says no need, you are, always, you are already a developer. Because I have already done it, so just say you know you don't have to do it again but if you don't see that option called developer options just uh, s click seven times on this build number all right and you'll get this uh, developer options just click on that and uh, you will see something called USB debugging just put a check mark it says USB debugging is intended for uh, development purposes only use it to copy data between your computer and your device install apps on your device without notification and uh, read log data alright so just click OK it's just a warning okay so once you're done with this uh, what you can do is just connect your uh, USB cable so I, I'm just connecting my USB cable alright so now once you connect this USB cable you will get a message on your phone which says this computer's RSA key fingerprint is 20 colon E3 colon blah 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 I think it's a 128 bit key and uh, uh, it, it, it's basically asking okay so do you want to allow this computer to access your phone so if you click OK uh, you know it will allow now but it will ask for every time when you connect to your phone so what you can do is just uh, select this option allow always sure always allowed from this computer and then click OK so from the next time it will not ask so once you're done with that your phone will be detected and uh, you can actually see the screen uh, which is exactly getting displayed what you have on your phone so you can move you can just uh, you know move through different screens on your phone and it will automatically get refreshed there oops it's not getting refreshed just when you click refresh it actually it refreshes okay it's not getting refreshed because there is an option called uh, auto refresh which you need to switch on so uh, I'm switching it on right now now if I go into any uh, menu and if I move it through screens uh, I can see that it's getting reflected over there now you can make video tutorials with your Android phone using this application uh, you can also uh, bring it to full screen so if you see, um, I got it to full screen. I can just move it, and uh, even if I open some applications, I'll 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 be able to see that in full screen. So so I'm opening Google Chrome. So I have uh, you know the page that I open. So I can just click on New Tab. So wh whatever I do it just gets replicated the screen basically gets replicated over there alright so that's a cool feature with this
So I can just exit out of this full screen. The other things that I can do is I can manage contacts. So I can go to data and uh, you know I can manage the contacts here. Now I can also transfer music. I can transfer videos from my computer to this phone. So uh, let me show you that. If I go into music, you can just click on my music and it would show all the albums that I have on my phone. So if I want to add some songs, I can just right click here. I can go to music, I can right click on add and I can navigate to the folder where I have some songs and I can just uh, select multiple songs, click open and it, it gets added. In the same way, if I want to add some you know, photos to my phone from my uh, computer, I can just click on images and I can add them. So that's all about it. You can also you know, transfer apps. You can just uh, manage apps through this. And that's about Mobile Robo, a complete PC suite for Android devices. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Thanks for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.